hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are not new and today i have this samsung galaxy a21s which are going to bypass kg lock it's very very easy and it's based on android 11 this phone is android 11 samsung galaxy a21s exactly samsung galaxy a21s According to my previous videos, I have successfully bypassed Samsung Galaxy A22, Samsung Galaxy A12, Samsung Galaxy A03s, Samsung Galaxy A03 Core and many many more. And many more videos are yet to come. This is the right channel. Please subscribe and turn on the bell icon. So first thing first, you need to have this tool named SAMFW. You need to have this tool i had factory set this phone earlier using this tool the phones the kg lock phones don't have wipe data factory reset option so i had to use this tool to factory reset because it has factory reset option remove frb option and also you can enable adb just using this tool so for now i'll remove frb because i have already factory reset can see the factory reset option just down below now it says go to emergency dial and dial star hash zero star hash and click ok when done okay star hash zero star hash and the test mode menu will appear and if the test mode menu doesn't appear then you need to downgrade your phone you really need to downgrade your phone if it's Android 12, then you really need to roll back to Android 11 or less. So as for now, initial method 1 fail, step 1 fail, method 2 it states fail, and method 3, step 3, step 3 also fail. Okay, step 3, step 4, and step 3, okay, enable ADB done. And as you can see, the adb menu pop up will appear but don't allow now just go and click and close just close this tool don't click on allow usb now this time will come to enable it then go to minimal adb and fast boot or cmd go to for example i use minimal adb and fast boot and make sure samsung drivers are installed and also the android platform tools then type the following command adb shell pm space a disable hyphen user space hyphen hyphen user zero com dot samsung com dot samsung dot android com dot samsung dot android dot kg client we are going to disable the kg client and then this is the right item to enable usb click on always then allow always enable then allow then when you hit enter it shall it should state new state disabled user then you'll get a prompt message saying your phone is locked because device services was uninstalled without authorization your phone is locked because device services was uninstalled without authorization but don't panic go on and type again the following com the following command adb shell pm disable hyphen user hyphen space hyphen hyphen user zero com dot android com.android.system com.android.systemui then hit enter and once you hit enter it should also state it should also state new state disabled user then go to frp tool by nk team the frp tool by nk team and once you open you can find the login password just below the tool and it should be on capital letters i leave the link on the description below if you don't have this application or if you are not able to download 
and if you have any issue any question you can message me on instagram as an old bradley one as for now we are going to kill the update we're going to kill update and once we kill update as you can see it's android version 11 samsung galaxy a21 7f and boom we've killed the update then what we need to do is just restart the phone simple but there are two more steps remaining which even a toddler can do it's very very easy very easy and once the phone reboots you just have to be patient don't go and take a walk don't take a glass of wine because it will take a very very short time it will take a short time just need to have patience you just need to have patience you can you can insert your phones and listen to your favorite music for some while because it will take a little more longer to boot it's normal to all the phones after factory resetting or after doing something or after making changes to your device oh boom starting android the phone is awake again back alive then you need and then you need to go back to this tool S A M F W by you need by smfw.com the frp tool then click on remove frp click on remove frp and if it doesn't for example if it fails so can't remove frp unplug then replug the cable unplug then replug the cable simple for example it says reading fail just go ahead and unplug the cable then replug again and try again we don't have to lose hope or patience yeah how you can check if your pc is connected well go on emergency dial and dial star hash zero star hash and then try again then you need to try again disconnect then reconnect and once you reconnect go ahead and click on remove FRP and as you can see it will say reading allow the allow phone to access data allow computer to access data and you just need to relax and the tool will set the phone for you we did we did use the tool not we are, we are basically not removing the frp we don't want to set the phone while online because on the way when you when you set the phone on the way this part it will say it will state downloading updates and while downloading updates it might lock and you might not be able to open the phone smoothly so setting the phone offline and using it later is a good idea this is samsung galaxy a03s a lot have commented on the comment section and i'll make a video about it soon so once you allow and click on i have read and agreed to all terms and conditions then click on next and then boom like magic the phone is alive the phone is alive and you can use but you won't have the navigation bar you won't have the status bar and the control center these are applications that you need to add but i don't have to download them i don't have to redownload them because i already have it saved here this is the most essentials the launcher the sender to send other more applications from a different phone super status bar navigation bar and the control center these are the major applications that you need so i'm going to send them to this phone and then install them and after installing them you are good to use the phone but always remember don't set the lock screen because you'll be stuck on a booting loop called starting android you'll be stuck on a loop called starting android so and please 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 kindly if you find this video useful 
kindly leave a subscribe or a share i'll really appreciate i'll really appreciate if you leave a subscribe comment or any so or you can know what changes i can make or maybe if you didn't understand you can reach me on instagram as arnold bradley one you can reach me on instagram as arnold bradley one and if you have any question or the type of phone that you want to be unlocked you can go ahead and comment which phone i should unlock next maybe if i'll be able to access the phone or have that type of phone then i'll make a video i'll make a video about it i'll make a video so if you enjoyed the video leave a subscribe share or comment bye see you soon